Each time we draw something, we subconsciously project our personality onto the piece of paper. And without us realizing it, even the simplest drawings can shed light onto our emotions, our intelligence, our self-esteem, and even our fears. A drawing assessment known as the house tree person test is a common technique that psychologists use to learn more about personality traits of an individual. So first off, what is the house tree person test? The house tree person test, also known as the HTP, is a projective test intended to measure different aspects of personality. Test takers are asked to draw a house, a tree, and a person. And the interpretation of these drawings is used to create a picture of a person's cognitive, emotional, and social functioning. Qualitative scoring, on the other hand, is a subjective analysis of a drawing meant to measure the test taker's personality. This type of scoring of the house person tree test is highly personal and can vary from one analyst to another. Similarly to the scoring of the qualitative tests, there's limited empirical evidence to support its validity. And before we get into this, I wanted to let you know that this video is actually sponsored by Skillshare, my favorite online learning platform, but I'll talk about more about them later. The House Tree Person Test was developed by early clinical psychologist John Buck in 1948. Based on the Draw a Man personality test created by Florence Goodenough in 1926, it was originally designed to assess children's intelligence. Buck further updated the House Tree Person Test together with the psychologist Emanuel Hammer in 1969. The House Tree Person Test is one of the most widely used projective tests for children and adults and is suitable for any individuals age 3 and older. You should also know the test is actually used by clinical psychologists, occupational therapists, and teachers. It is also employed as part of a series of personality and intelligence tests, including the Rorschach, Thematic Apperception Test, and the WAIS, as means of a personality overall assessment. What's more, the House Tree Person Test is an effective tool in evaluating brain damage in patients with schizophrenia. So let's go over the technicals of it. The House Tree Person Test takes on average 150 minutes to complete. Therapists can choose between a one-phase test, where a pencil or crayon is used for each drawing, and a two-phase test that uses a crayon in the first phase and a pencil in the second. Each phase has two parts, where the first, non-verbal and creative step is followed by the structured verbal one. So for instance, test takers are instructed to draw a house, and then a tree, and then a person, as accurately as possible on separate sheets of paper. They are then asked a number of questions about their drawings. And Buck proposed a list of 60 questions. However, trained test givers are free to create their own variations and ask different questions. So here are some of the examples of the questions that might be asked. For the house, who lives in the house? Do people visit the house? Is it a happy house? What is the house made of? And what goes on inside of the house? Here are some questions for the tree image. What kind of tree is it? How old is the tree? What season did you draw this tree in? Is the tree alive? And who waters the tree? And lastly, probably the most important, here are some questions you can ask about the person. Who is the person? How old is the person? How does that person feel? And are they happy? And what is the person like doing? Now, after the respondents have answered these questions, their drawings are analyzed and interpreted. Now, the interpretation is probably the most important part. The house tree person test is based on the idea that drawings reflect feelings. The details of a drawing are seen as representations of various personality traits. So let's go over some of these interpretations. Drawing a house. The house is considered to be the expression of the respondent's family relations and family values. The roof stands for the intellectual side of the spiritual life of the individual. The walls might be related to the test taker's character strength. And the doors and windows represent the individual's relationship to the outside world and the level of social integration. Next, we have the tree. The tree is thought to suggest the deepest, unconscious aspects of their personality. The branches may show the degree of social connectedness. For example, a tree with no branches indicates that the person has little contact with others. The trunk is often seen as a representation of inner strength. And the tree crown stands for ideas, thoughts, and self-concept. Lastly, we have drawing a person. The person is a symbolic representation of the ideal self and one's social interactions. For example, the head symbolizes intelligence, communication, and imagination. The eyes indicate the perception of the world. The hands give information about effectivity and aggressiveness, and even though these are a lot of different aspects, there are several other aspects of drawing that therapists may take into account when analyzing house tree person tests. I'm going to go over some of those now. Number one, dimension of objects. The dimension of objects in a drawing are thought to indicate the level of self-esteem and confidence. For example, a very small house might show that the individual's dissatisfaction with life at home. Next, we have level of detail. The level of detail is another revealing factor in outlining the respondent's personality through drawing. 
a very detailed face might indicate a need to present oneself in a favorable social light. On the contrary, pictures lacking detail often indicate depression. Number three, we have the location of objects. The location of objects on the page is also charged with significance. Drawings close to the top of the page are considered being related to dreams and imagination, while the ones at the bottom are connected to the physical world. Drawings on the right side of the page are linked to the future, the center are related to the present, and the left to the past. Fourth, we have strokes and lines. For example, the pressure, firmness, and solidity of strokes and lines indicate determinedness, determination, and decision-making faculties. The same line drawn twice sometimes shows insecurity, dissatisfaction, or perfectionism. Emotional strength, high self-esteem, and confidence, on the contrary, are usually reflected in the firmness of the lines. Lastly, we have the test taker's attitude. In addition to all of the above elements, therapists also consider the test taker's attitudes, their words, and their gestures while drawing. Any display of frustration, anger, or satisfaction is taken into account in the test analysis. Now, even though this is a test, you may be wondering how it is scored. Well, a house tree person test can be scored either in an objective, quantitative, or subjective, qualitative manner. Trained therapists rely on John Buck's comprehensive 350-page manual and interpretive guide in administering and scoring the house tree person tests. And if you're wanting to learn more about the house tree person test, you may be wanting to learn a bit more about yourself or healthier ways to deal with something. This video, as I mentioned earlier, is actually sponsored by Skillshare, and I wanted to share a class that I recently completed on the platform. By the way, I'm really picky with my sponsorships, and you should know that I've been a Skillshare user for over two years now. Anyways, there's a class I took titled Psychology, Stress, and Anxiety Management that I highly recommend watching. I was attracted to the course because I was researching some methods of reducing anxiety, and Skillshare is my first go-to platform for classes taught by experts. And if you don't know about Skillshare by now, they're actually an online learning platform with over 17,000 classes at the moment, and the price point is very affordable. One of these classes is worth way more than the monthly fee that they charge. Right now, a premium membership costs less than $10 per month if you pay annually, and if you're interested, the first thousand people to click the link in the description below will actually get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Anyways, Elmira does a great job at outlining and detailing specific methods to reducing stress using psychological principles and research. In today's world, this four-hour class is definitely worth the watch. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching it. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.